hi guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while we actually sat down to have a chat and i just thought you know what i thought about how i have actually been in germany for the past one year now and it's been such a journey <laughs> like every other journey that has its ups and downs and so i thought that since it's been my one year i and thinking about how i came into germany and all the things that i did i thought okay why not make a video about what i would do if i was to start applying to schools again in germany if i was going to come to germany again like i did one year ago what would i do um what would sh would i advise that you do so let's get right into the video the first is first is being nigerians of course we know how the german system situation is at the application for to get application date or appointment date is actually very very hard so or yes it's hard it's one of the most tasking things that actually you know deter people from coming to germany because of the long wait time so one thing i'll do is once i realize okay i want to go to germany to school the first thing that i will do is to actually book for an appointment date before anything else this that's for people that are between that are actually in category b because there's something called the category a and category b and category a pe and people are giving preference and they could get dates in with within two months actually on the website and category b people could wait for a year to get a date so if you are in the category b just check yourself go to their website to find out where you actually what category you fall in and then you go build book for the appointment date and so the time starts counting. The next thing that I would do is to actually look at the schools that are available. So with Uni Assist, you can actually look out for schools. It helps you just narrow down. Or you can also use the daa.de website to find out schools. It, it actually helps narrow down your options. You could just go there, click in the course that you're interested in, the language that you prefer, and then you'd see a couple of courses that you probably never even talked about or some that actually have a different name or nomenclature which you now look at the programs that they are offering and it could actually be something that you're interested in that's one thing that could help the next thing that i would do is to take note of the dates of, applic of ap application the application dates and i'll say this to say that you also have to decide on what semester that you'd like to go in for me i start. i wanted to go in the summer semester but unfortunately my visa didn't come out at the time that i needed it to come out so i had to now i couldn't defer because at the time the school didn't allow me to defer so i had to reapply and start a whole another application process in for winter semester so you have to decide on what semester that you want and you could also even start ahead of time because some schools allow you to defer your you know your application or your admission and then you could actually come in the next semester but some schools don't allow that as well so you have to look at just always ask if in case you are in doubt always ask the school you never know what policies they are some are not even written on the website just reach out to the admissions team and they would let you know after deciding on the course you want the application date for me i actually had a book of admissions for different countries actually so you i advise that you always write down what you have in mind write down the schools write down um so what i would do is first of all I'll write down the school the application date or application period so i know when it's going to start and when it's going to end i'll write down the semester i'll write down um the name of the course the program and even possibly the website just in case and you could also write it um you know have it on soft in soft copy like word document because when it comes to the website you can just easily go hyperlink it and click on it and it will just take it directly to the school's website the next thing that i would do is i will gather my documents gathering your documents could take some time especially when it comes to like schools in nigeria that delays when it comes to giving transcripts it could take some time and some money as well so i'll start gathering up my documents from my cv that's academic cv to my transcripts my degree make sure everything is is authentic currently i am seeing that some schools don't allow you to give your unofficial um transcripts in my time i was able to submit my unofficial transcript and they accepted it in the meantime while 
my official transcript was processing right now some schools will want you to bring only the official transcript and that's the only way that they'll respond to you so if you know that you fall into the category and you know that your school is not fast enough ensure that you reach out to the school ahead of time to start gathering your documents for me i started making my plans a year before i actually went to before i actually started application i already knew like in 2019 that i was going to go um to germany let's say 2019 2020 i already knew that i was going to go to germany so i started gathering up my documents gradually and my service period my you know nysc was my time for me to gather my documents and just get them prepared to go start my application to germany next thing that i would do is i would decide what and how would i get my finances up and there are two ways to come to germany with financials that's through the blocked account and through the sponsorship letter and luckily for me for you guys today i come bearing news so if you need help today click on the link in my bio to get started with expatriate today and they will always be there to answer any questions that you have so the next thing i'll do after sorting out my financials is i would actually now wait for the dates actually while waiting for the date i'll be writing down my statement of purpose my why i'm interested in the school why do i want to you know go to the school why do i why germany and all the all the nice things about germany honestly germany has really been good to me and i'm not even gonna lie of course they have its ups and downs but it's been really great so far so i feel like you have to research the country that you want to go to very important so you can know if this is the best place for you there's no if you're open to what the culture has because everywhere has its laws its rules and if you're able to live within that space then please go for it. after writing my statement of purpose i'll probably get someone else to read it like to proofread to like a second opinion someone that you trust and will give you a good opinion about your statement of purpose i will give that out draft all my documents actually for me i would like to always apply the first the moment the application opens i would like to apply so one thing i'll do is to already get my documents in check if i actually label them actually in um like a drive so once the application period opens, I start applying. So what happens after I finish applying to the schools when the application period opens? Once you apply, you just let it be. And remember that by this time, you had already applied for your visa. So your visa is still counting. So while applying for your schools, you've applied. You now, I will now advise you, especially if you're going to a major city like Berlin, Hamburg, Munich, please go to the student vex website of that city to check for affordable to check for accommodation student vex is a student union that manages the hostels for students in germany and they are definitely well priced like they're way cheaper than private accommodations so it's very like the hustle to get into a student vex apartment it's real like i've been on student vex website for the past one year ah, these guys are, they haven't come to now but we thank god so far god has been good to us either ways we have our accommodation thanks god thanks be to god so yes if you know that you're coming to germany and you're going to a major city please go to the student Vex website and apply even if you haven't got an admission yes yes apply and wait because um if i had done that i would have probably been getting a response to the accommodation that i applied to right now and then one thing that i did was to be applying for a single apartment i'm not saying single apartment is not good it's just that of course every other person is applying for that so it's the traffic is going to be a lot more and what they do is that the one you applied for that's the one they will give you you know you're not going to say oh you know this one is available mm -mm. they're going to give you the one that you applied for so me i applied for a single apartment until now i haven't gotten i even had to change to a common like you know a shared apartment but till now, I haven't still gotten it. And in Munich here, you have to change your, you only get to change your apartment every one year. So, yeah, sadly, I haven't still gotten a call from them. So if you don't want to be stranded, and you'll actually never be stranded, you'll probably find something, but it may be a lot more pricier than your budget. But to save yourself the stress, my darlings, please book for the accommodation before you get your decision from the admissions team and got like unfortunately sometimes some rejections come and then they can actually opt out of the 
accommodations you know system can deactivate your account or something you have nothing to lose but you don't want to come to this country especially in the winter when it's cold and you are stranded that will never be a portion in the mighty name of jesus amen so moving on after sorting out my accommodation and just being in the pool because you just be there and let the pool do its thing you can now wait for your decision the decision for me took three months to come what am i saying no then you wait for your appointment date while you're going for your appointment please please and please read everything that is on the website the website actually doesn't lie it's every it has all the information that you need the same all the documents that is stated on their website have all of them and one thing i would also advise is to arrange them systematically because that's what oga paulinus at the german embassy in lagos nigeria you know he mentioned it a couple of times please have your documents the way it's listed from the beginning from number one to number whatever number arrange it like that because once you do it like that it allows you to just go in not panic and just present your documents really then say your you know appointment date has come congratulations on that ensure you go early to your appointment these guys don't joke germans are always on time if there's something that they have on lock is punctuality they take it seriously please go and we all know how niger did so i beg carry yourself and go on time for your for your interview even if you go and they're they haven't called your category yet just hang around and wait then you probably will start a line at the time i started i joined the line and then we stayed there and then we started going from one person to another another thing i would advise is while you're going to the german embassy please carry your career serv um, envelope carry your career envelope you can use fedex you can use dhl you can use red star express so ensure that you go with your dhl career envelope because the guys at the embassy would extort you they will call ridiculous prices you do not want that times are hard you need to save your money so please go with it buy a career envelope to with you as part of your document it's probably going to be listed there and if it's not listed just ensure that you go with your career envelope so that you are saving yourself a lot of money a lot of stress because imagine now there's that like, because during the interview or before the interview while you're waiting on the line there was a time polino said you know if you haven't been like if you haven't um if you if you don't have your career envelope go and get one and imagine that your interview time is so so so, so time right and you haven't got your envelope it's going to be so stressful now you know they have this whole barricade thing they could let you back in but what if they don't you know because they also have a time that they are running with and once your time passes it passes and you don't need that frustration believe me you don't so buy your career envelope as you're going don't panic pray before you go carry jesus as you go because he's going to make the way straight and smooth for you be able to express yourself know your questions know your school that you're going to know the course that you're going for know how it aligns how your previous degree your bachelor's aligns with your master's and why you need that these there's so many things that are going on in the world today so my darling be able to link your bachelor's to your master's and maybe if you're even trying to have a career change you could even you know say that so just know your your stuff you know know your stuff finally after the interview date go and chill somewhere you know before you chill on your chilling period go and just thank god thank god in advance for your interview thank him and just say let your will be done my darlings invite jesus so invite jesus then you can go and chill with one bottle of chilled coke chilled malta guinness i really like malta guinness so chilled malta guinness enjoy yourself there and just wait for me my period took well, within three months to get a response from the embassy so and it just fit within because i had my interview i think it was in may and then i was to resume school in october so it was just perfect you know so just give yourself ample time 
to have your interview and to wait for your, your response on, the, on your visa before coming back. And once you've gotten your, you know, say three months passes, you get your, your approval, congratulations again. Then actually, because they will actually be considered, I think they're actually considerate of the time you're meant to resume school. So then you can actually start shopping for your things to come over to Germany, carry all your spices. Those are the ones that are very important. There are a couple of things you can find here, like, you know, rice and yams, but sometimes the yams could actually be expensive. But actually, that thing that people say, don't buy clothes, come with food. Don't listen to them. Bring your clothes and bring your food. If you have 23 kg, two sides, you can bring your food if you don't eat so much. So me, I'm still eating my food that I bought a year ago. I still have them plenty. My spices were a lot. And thanks, shout out to my mama. <laughs> mama Rizzi, she came through with all the spices and the food so still now i'm still eating it so yeah come with your clothes come with your clothes yes please come with your clothes because for me having to start buying clothes from scratch is pretty expensive and really how many people have that money to be spending like i will have to buy one one thing <laughs> i'll buy one thing to this week i've been at this month i'll say okay but next month like that so please if you have clothes already that you know are still good you don't have to give them away except maybe they're already worn out but if you still have good clothes they'll come with your shirts your jeans your track suits your sweatpants um your exercise exercise outfits yes i just came up from the from taking a long walk this morning but also come with your exercise fit you need to work out you need to exercise yourself sweat sometimes so come with all of that don't Go and be doing onyoma and be dashing out your clothes. Bring your clothes with you. Thank you. So, when you come... Okay, by this time... Oh, I forgot to add. When you're actually, um, you know, gotten an approval or you know that, you know, people actually estimate that they're going to get a, a response from the... A positive response from the embassy. Ensure that you are already looking at flights. Flights, they... Uh, he they choke. <laughs> Flights are very, actually very expensive, so please ensure that you already start looking out for different airlines that you can use. I usually recommend, you know, I use Qatar when I was coming. Obviously, Qatar is quite expensive. I think you could also use Turkish, then you land in Istanbul for a little bit of a layover, then you come over to Germany. Guys, book your flights ahead of time. It's expensive. Book your flights ahead of time. So... Moving back to the clothes and your food stuff, just look at the stuff that you eat. Bring it with you. Don't, you can just pack as much as you want. Bring your stuff with you. And then you arrive in Germany. Yay! Once you arrive in Germany, the first thing you should do is to register your address. Hopefully, by the time you've already gotten a, like a response from your student in VEC, you know, in whatever city that you're going to i understand that smaller cities may be a lot more responsive because they are smaller so they don't have a lot of influx of people or students so lucky you but if you're in a major city guys please book your accommodation ahead of time once you get into germany go and register your address and then you start getting a couple of letters coming in like your tax id is usually the first letter that you get make sure that you have that handy and if you actually come to Germany and you know you're very energetic, you want to start work, remember that you're allowed to work 20 hours a week in Germany. You can, you know, try out Zen job. 